quite hear what we want to talk about. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. See, as soon as I did that, I knew that we were going to have a problem. Hold on. Hi, everybody. We're just having – we're trying something new this week, and so I'm just having a little technical difficulty. I kind of knew that would be the case. So just hang out for just a second. We're going to get started. Um, there we go. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello. Welcome to – I'm just trying to get this on my phone. Yeah. It's not really showing up. So that's weird. So maybe people aren't seeing it. Maybe people aren't. It looks like it says it's live. So we'll uh, see. But we better test for a minute here. Go ahead and try. And we're trying something new. So if you are able to see us and you're wondering why in the world we're just kind of sitting around here doing nothing and not talking about anything. Because, oh, there we are. Yeah. So anyway, hi, everybody. We are trying something new this week. I'm using a new program on my computer because I am a nerd and uh, because I always like to make things better when I can. And so we've always talked about stuff during our newsletter. But then we say, oh, go to the website or go here to see pictures and something like that. But obviously, we have the technology. We can rebuild. We are going to be able to show you pictures as we go through. And Angela, right before I got in, she's like, well, we haven't written anything down. And I have... All things I want to talk about in pictures today. All right. So, so what's the first thing we talk well, about? <laughs> can we talk? Well, let's talk about Oliver. Oh, Oliver. <laughs> now I'm kind of cough. <clears throat> also, cannot get rid of this cough right now. But anyway. Yeah. So little Oliver went home and I can, if I do this Oliver right. Oliver is who? Oliver is my great nephew. And so this picture so right here. Nephew Samuel's yeah, we two can, kids. Oh, wait a minute. Here, here we go. Oh, <laughs> Our nephew Samuel has two kids. That's his daughter, yeah. Olivia, and that's baby Oliver. And yeah. he was born, um, is it December, early December? Yeah, before Christmas. And he was premature, so he's been in the NICU and at the hospital ever since. So we got word last week that he was healthy and strong enough to go home. So this is a picture of Olivia holding her baby brother for the first time. And we're... We're pretty biased, but they're pretty darn adorable. They're pretty darn. And that, that smile is either he's happy he's going home, he's happy his sister's holding him, or gas. We're not sure. Not sure which. Not but sure. We're going to be able to see them both all yeah. at the end of the month. So that's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. So he has, what I did hear and, and, um, is that he does have to have a breathing machine still at home to help him. Just like, not that he's f super fragile, but just in case, that kind of thing when he's sleeping. So. Probably good idea. Yeah. So can we talk about the snow? I'm so over the snow. It snowed so much. I felt like it snowed for <laughs> I put it right over your face. <laughs> exactly. Like it just, that was the, just the beginning part of it. Yeah, that's just the start so of it. So that started when? When did we have the snow? That started on. Wednesday. Well. Because we did Yeah, Wednesday. Weekend. Right. Wednesday afternoon. And then this is just, this is me. I took, I don't know why I got this particular video out of all the videos that I could have gotten was this, that was just, I, I had sent that to my coworkers, that little video to say, this is what it's going to look like. And then I, then of course we have the big, this is outside your office. Ooh, no. no oh, oh, up, oh, 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 see, this is what happens when you, okay, there we go. <laughs> no, no, that's not outside my house. That's at work. That's in the courtyard. And that was up from the second floor. Um, it was so much cooler from the first floor, but I couldn't really get downstairs quick enough to get a picture before it got too light out because it, the courtyard still had all the Christmas lights and stuff, but there was some massive snow. Everybody in the house was walking by stopping and staring at it and just, it was really pretty. So. Yeah, and it looks, so it looks super pretty. What's oh. up, Kelly? Good morning. Hey, that's the other thing that this, so this new pro, hey Kelly, we're trying a new program today. And so you happen to be our very first person to pop on online and we actually, because of the way it works, we can see when people are coming on online right away, and that's awesome. So, yeah. so if you're just joining us, that picture that um, you just saw was at the hospital on was it Thursday? Thursday yeah, that was morning Thursday morning after we had the snow, all the snow. <laughs> um, so Wednesday, like everything in the world was canceled. Youth group was canceled. People were leaving work early, but not. Uh, you or me? <laughs> no, no. So with the other picture, other picture I wanted to show, and I don't, we can't find it, is the oh, snowblower snow halfway door. through the driveway where it, finally, it broke down on me because I had bad gas in it. So I had to siphon out all the gas, put new gas in. I had to go down and get new gas because I didn't have any new gas. You had to motor through our yeah. driveway that wasn't plowed out. So Angela's tank of a car got us 
saved us that day. So yeah, it wasn't a bad commute in. I drove all the way from Saco into Portland, almost all the way to my exit on two ninety five without seeing another car going northbound. Um, mm -hmm. So I was like a lone ranger out there, but yeah. um, it definitely slowed things down. It took forever for everything to get cleaned up. And the great news is we we're supposed to have some more, another yeah. one like this on Tuesday. So, so we had, <laughs> yeah, yes, I had bad gas. gas. I chose to tell people when I told people uh. the story, I chose to tell them we had bad fuel. <laughs> because it's it's more mature sounding than bad gas. Somebody will go out and get you gas X or something. Communication majors. <laughs> <laughs> I had that gas. Um, so that was we like had the big 19, 19 and a half inches feet. here. Yeah, in um, I know Sanford, they had almost two feet total. I think it depended almost. on where you were because there was a lot of drifting in some places. Yeah. So I think, but we got hit pretty hard here. Yeah, and so we'll have 8 to 12, we think, on Tuesday just to add, you know, that's the icing on the cake. It's just a dusting. It's just a brutal week in, in that we had that in the middle of the week. And then, like, I had four different doctor's appointments this week. We did, we totally skipped over some great well, fodder. I, but I didn't, so we can talk about those if you would like. So I was safe, I was, I was going to save faith for your family and not talk about the fact that you were high on drugs and then... <laughs> So if anybody, there's several people in my family, and I don't know if Kelly falls into this category or not, but um, there's several of us that have issues with our mouth in that it's not anybody else's like big gag reflex issue. And um, so I don't have a real great relationship with the dentist. I have a lot of anxiety about the dentist and lucky me, I Which got is... a referral to a periodontist because I have some major damage. Um, my asthma medication dries out everything in my mouth, so it makes it a problem. Um, so anyway, so I have to have some procedures done, but I had to go see this periodontist. And I had such anxiety, I couldn't even think about it without getting all worked up. So my wonderful doctor prescribed something that I had to take before I went to the periodontist on Tuesday, so Nathan had to drive me. And can we talk about the waiting room? Yes, the wait... <laughs> Have you guys ever seen the the sketch where Will on Saturday Night Live where Will Ferrell, I can't remember the name of the character he's playing, but he goes, "I suffer from voice modulation. I cannot control the volume or tenor of my voice." <laughs> we had, we had that on uh, in the in the. Kelly has a big mouth. Kelly has a big mouth. Oh, um, so we had that in the waiting room. This lady was on her telephone, but she could not control the volume or the tenor of her voice. But she and also she, had a southern accent. And she had a southern accent. And she was talking about barbecue sauce. And she was telling everybody that she was there to have a tooth implant. But if they needed to get a hold of her, she had her laptop and her cell phone. Oh, hello. You're at the dentist. Like, they're going to be in your mouth. Why do you bring these things? Why do you tell everybody that, are you that important? Is your barbecue business that important that you need to bring your cell phone to the periodontist's office? And it took all the strength that was in my body to not say something because I was stoned. <laughs> well, see, that's the best part. So, so she has this fear of the dentist. She'd been having a lot of anxiety about it. So I said, hey, this is the exact reason why God gave us gooey drugs, right. right? And so call your doctor. She'll be, I guarantee you, they'll be more than happy to give you something to help you chill out. Those well, drugs were awesome. Mm -hmm. I was, um, I was like asleep on the way to the dentist. Yeah. And I was like, this is awesome. I'll go in the waiting room. It'll be nice and quiet. I can just chill out until my appointment. But then this woman's next to me discussing her barbecue business in her very, it had, I had no filter. No filter. No filter. So she said, so Angela's sitting in the chair and she's practically, the lady's doing the exam and it's not an awful exam at all, comparably yeah, speaking. Compared to other things. Um, and Angela's just, the whole time she's just, ah. <laughs> She got her work done, didn't she? She got her work done. No, <laughs> nobody said a word. She was just calling out the uh, two centimeter, centimeter, centimeters. Wow. Centimeters here, two here. You know, she's just, that's it. That's it. Anyway, so. But you was, do have to, the bad news is that you will have to have some work done. The good news is she's going to give me stronger. More drugs. <laughs> Anyways, that was not very exciting. I, I get to try. I'm going to have, I'm going to, you know what we can do? We'll have, listen, we'll do like, we'll get one of those calendar pools and we'll have when she's going to be 
on there and then we can all have a lottery to choose who drives her to and from so they can have the most entertainment value. Interesting. Otherwise, I could videotape for you if you want. Put a GoPro on. Oh, my God. It's going to be great. Because the... She was on like a mild version of it for this, and the late the doctor said we prescribe a very strong version <laughs> for the procedure. Yeah. yeah. All right, we need to move on. Look at oh, I know. So okay. let's talk about let's talk about this weekend that we've had. Well, we're kind of we went we did errands yesterday. Yeah. I wasn't ter- very ex- did I go to barbecue? No, no, she didn't go to the barbecue <laughs> afterward. The lady had an implant. <laughs> I can't control the timer and the volume of my voice. Oh, my word. <laughs> anyway. Thank you, Kelly, for bringing that up. Oh, no, that was Wendy. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, oh, Wendy. Sorry. So, what? So like, Friday night when so, we got yeah. home, I was just totally ready to crash. You were the drugs crash. were starting to wear off that well, no, night. No, I had two other appointments between now and then. And um, so we were both just ready to crash out on Friday. So that's pretty much what we did. Yeah. We just sat on the couch and shamelessly watched several episodes of oh, the first season of ER. Of crap. It was fantastic. <laughs> but yesterday, we just kind of putzed around in the morning. Yeah. I made you some keto bagels. You Very- did? Oh, I didn't put the keto bagel. Oh. It's okay. Uh, so we are still do doing the keto thing. I made Nathan some keto bagels, which is basically like the pizza crust that we've been making, mm-hmm. except in bagel form. So for me, it just wasn't like my jam, but it made Nathan's day to come downstairs and find And I had another bagels. one this morning. Um, so sometimes it's just the little things. Um, let's see if I can find don't them. Don't take too long because well, we are I going know. very long. Yeah, but people are loving out here. Oh, they're they the they keto are, bagels. There we go. Let's we'll see. pop them up. Pop it up. They look good, but they are not your standard bagels. So they're a little disappointing in that. So we'll give it another shot. I might try some flavored cream cheese in the dough next time. But, yeah. Halftime at Tamillo. So oh, we are sorry. still doing keto. So we yes. did some errands and got some more keto stuff. I found a snack pack deluxe box of pork rinds, multiple flavors. That makes my day. It's really little. Yeah, thing. we we and like had we the got bomb. Like stevia and so See, we've got to have a disclaimer out here. You and I are not Walmart people. We're no, it's not I'm our favorite place girl. to go, and we kind of yeah, we like to go to Target if we can. But Walmart had all the all, all the, the keto all the needs. stuff, all the keto needs this week. So, but then after that, we went for an amazing walk on the beach. It was beautiful. Yes. It was, oh yeah, absolutely and beautiful. It was. It was great. So I'm much not being stuff sarcastic. washed up from the storm. Like we found, I think you'll see maybe in some of the pictures. Like there was this flagpole with this huge stump know. of cement on the bottom that it. had kind of washed up. No, don't. It's gonna be. It's gonna be too long. All right. And um, just all sorts of really cool things. And we found these really cool shells. And they're those kinds that are really deep on the ocean floor, and you don't see yeah. them very often. Because they usually form in a tropical area, and then, you know, once the whatever's inside uh, of it dies. Mm-hmm. Right. They it just has... leave the shell. Oh, she's going to go get one. That's going to help. <laughs> so this is one of them. We... Okay. So I found, like, two of them. The trick is that when you get these, you have to really look inside. I'm going to use this camera thing. And make sure there's nothing alive in them. The last time we got these... There, we picked up a few, and there were some hermit crabs in there, so those those stay put. And I examined, I picked up two, and I examined them very carefully. To my surprise, when I got home, I put one of these down on the counter, and Nathan's in the other room, and I see a claw come out from underneath the shell. And so I hollered to Nathan, like, we have got a problem here. I accidentally brought home a hermit crab. And I felt so bad because you don't bring home live things from the beach. Well, it's a no-no. Yeah, no. I mean, but the funny thing was everybody wanted you to keep it as a pet. Right. And you are a killjoy. No, I'm allergic (laughs) to it. It's not like it's not like, oh, you know, it'll, we can pro- we can tame it. We can teach it how to, you know, sit, lay down, play dead. No, nothing. It came out of the shell, and it freaked me out. Like, I put it in that you jar, saw, yeah, and that it swung. freaked me out. It, like, started standing up. I was very worried that it was going to escape from the jar. So the picture, the picture of that's the hermit crab in the jar there. And the other picture is me doing a seal release, basically, yeah, back and on. And brought him back to the beach. <laughs> Because I felt so awful. He's like, just throw it in the woods. I'm like, we don't even have, no one. it's Saco. We don't have woods. Number two, that's just so, no, he had to go back to the ocean. And so oh, he went back to the back. ocean. God, he, was at, love you. he had cake by the ocean after that. Stop. Move along. All right. And then, then last night, what did we do? We hung out with uh, Matt and Liz, who we, we absolutely love and adore. They are the youth, he is the youth 
I guess we'll call him the youth pastor, youth coordinator at yep. Grace Point. We work with him and Liz and just we click and it was fun. Yeah, so. they got two little ones and she made yeah. dinner and she went to great lengths to make sure it was keto mostly. And mostly. so we did get to have a little taste of potatoes. I haven't had potatoes in like so a month and a half. So we get a little bit of potatoes on our plate. And we, and we brought keto cookies, which are, these are basically peanut butter cookies with, um, they're basically with chocolate with sugar free chocolate chips in them. That's yes. mine. I'll so, have later. <laughs> so if anybody's interested in doing keto, yeah, these are they're just three ingredients. We add the chocolate chips, but yeah. um, peanut butter. Uh, we use monk fruit but for you these, can, you but can you could use stevia. Stevia, yeah. Um, and one egg. Yep. And that's it. And you so bake you bake them at three fifty for I think by the time they were done because they had put the chocolate chips in them it was about it's twenty minutes. Longer. Took a little longer, but so good. today we had church. We were supposed to have a family potluck, but looks oh. like my mom's the only one that's going to be able to make it. That's what happens when you have a little bit of luck. Um, yeah. so we've got um right now we kind of have a boiled dinner going. It's a boiled dinner minus the potatoes. So what we're trying to do is once a month we're going to try to have um immediate family over for a potluck, and occasionally we might open it up bigger depending yeah. on who is around and all that, but, um, so we're just as a point. Oh, oh look at that. Mom's My first guest has arrived. <laughs> so we've got ham and carrots and cabbage and boiling and, um, hopefully we'll find out what mom's bringing and we'll add that to the potluck. So, um, just cut, bring yourself right on it. What did mom bring for the potluck? Let's see the big reveal. <laughs> Onion. Boiled onion. Boiled onion. It's very good. <laughs> All right. So we probably need to wind this down because this has gone very long, per yeah. usual. Per usual. Sorry, guys. But it worked out nicely. So we Next will... time we'll write it down. We do better yeah, when we, we write do it down. Well, sometimes I do better when we write it down. But I may I'll have more video pictures and I'll do a better job planning, but this was our first experiment with it. So mom's here. We're going to go. Bye. Bye. <laughs>